Welcome to my lecture online. Our next problem is considerably easier than the problems we've seen so far on paper, one, on paper 2 of the 2021 J Advanced Tests in Physics. But the problem is very long, so let's read the problem and probably half the time goes into just trying to figure out what they're asking for. It does deal with buoyancy force. We have a bottle there with something inside of it. And it says here a soft plastic bottle filled with water of density 1 gram per cubic centimeters carries an inverted glass test tube with some air made of ideal gas trapped as shown in the figure. The test tube has a mass of 5 grams and it is made of a thick glass of density 2.5 grams per cubic centimeters. Initially the bottle is sealed at atmospheric pressure at 10 to the 5th Pascal so that the volume of the trapped air is 3.3 cubic centimeters. When the bottle is squeezed from the outside at constant temperature, the pressure inside rises and the volume of the trapped air reduces. It is found that the test tube begins to sink at pressure P plus delta P without changing its orientation. At this pressure, the volume of the trapped air is V minus delta V, let delta V equals X in cc's cubic centimeters and delta p equals y times 10 to the fifth pascals find the value of x so that's part one we need to value, find the value of x and then part two we'll find the value of y so here we are dealing with the principle of the buoyancy force and notice that initially this object is buoyed up well notice that there's some water in the test tube there's some remaining air up here and the pressure of the air, of course, must be equal to the pressure of the outside, and it is equal to 10 to the fifth pascals. We know that the mass of the glass is equal to 5 grams, and we know that the density of the glass is equal to 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, so now we know that uh, density is equal to mass divided by the volume, so the volume is equal to the density times the mass, which is equal to uh, 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter, multiplied times 5 grams. Oh, let's see here. Volume equals, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm making some mistakes here. Let's go back here. And so here we can say that the volume is equal to the mass divided by the density. The mass is 5 grams. The density is 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. And so this is equal to 2 cubic centimeters. Well, I guess they keep writing in a cc. I'll keep writing in a cc as well. So 2 cubic centimeters is the volume of the glass. Now they also tell us that the volume of the trapped gas the volume of the gas is equal to 3.3 cc's and notice the volume total of the glass and the gas is going to be 2 plus 3.3 or 5.3 cc's that's the total volume and notice that the total mass will be the mass of the glass plus the mass of the gas, but the mass of the gas is so small because it's just a little bit, only 3.3 cc's. You know that one mole of gas occupies 22.4 liters at SDP. We can ignore the mass of the gas. So we know that the volume is 5.3 cc, the mass of the glass is 5 grams, so the density total of the glass and the gas will be the mass over the volume and the mass is 5 grams, and the volume is 5.3 cc's, and so you can see that it's less than 1 gram per cc. In other words, the total of the glass and the gas combined is less than the density of the water, and therefore the buoyancy force will push it up to the very top. Now, the question is, what is the value of x? What is the change in the volume that will allow the test tube to start coming down? Well, once the density of the test tube and the gas trapped inside is greater than 1 gram per cubic centimeter, then it will start sinking down into the water. And of course, that requires the volume to be less than 5.0 cc's, because 5 divided by 5 gives me 1. And so that means that the change in the volume, 
the change in the volume must be equal to 5.3 cc's minus 5.0 cc's, which is 0.3 cc's. That's the change in the volume we're looking for, for the test tube to start coming down. And so the answer that we're looking for is 0.3 cc's. And I think that's the answer is in terms of cc's, 0.3 cc's uh, for the change in the volume for the test tube to start coming down. So you can see that this one you can probably figure out in less than three minutes, give you some precious time to move on to the next problem and make up some of the lost time in the earlier, harder problems. And that is how it's done.